Well, hey there, fabulous authors. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited because yesterday, Instagram announced a brand new platform update. It's amazing, and it might be my favorite thing since Instagram Stories was rolled out. So I'm really excited. I could not jump on yesterday because I had a little bit of an allergic reaction to a scented candle, and I was unable to function yesterday. So here we go today. I'm going to tell you all about what it is, and I'm going to tell you about how to use it as an author. So please forgive me if my voice gives out. I can feel it going now. But we're going to take a look. So here's what happened. Instagram has announced they are now allowing us to do albums. Albums are where you can put up to 10 photos in one album and it will show up within the feed and within your personal feed as one photo and then people can swipe through it to see more. So let me show you what that looks like. This is one I posted on my author platform about an hour ago and here's what it looks like. So you can see it's a graphic here and then down below, it's got little dots. When you see those little dots, that means that is an album and you can swipe through up to 10 photos. But when you go to my my uh, actual feed for my, my part of the platform, it will only show that first one. And when people are scrolling through their news feed, it only shows that first one. And then your fans can choose whether to swipe through it or not. So let me show you exactly what I did with mine and then we're going to talk about some ideas that you can do as an author within your marketing to get people to swipe through and look at all of these photos that you're putting up without bombarding them with a ton of information or without overtaking their newsfeed. So here we go. With mine, the first thing I did was tell them to swipe. Now, because this is a brand new part of the platform, people don't know what to do. And I went ahead and I told them what they needed to do. So all they have to do is swipe through and it goes through a series of images where I have put words. Now this could be photos, like if you went to some kind of really cool event and you wanted to show that off, you could be showing off those photos, but I actually did it in a marketing way. And I went through and I actually told about one of my characters. So the first thing I did was introduce them to my main character, Aluria. And I then went through and I gave some little information facts about her and about how she plays into my story. So I went through and I did all of that. I ended it here with read an excerpt from my book, here's where to find it, and I put an author quote. So somebody had beautifully compared my story to The Hunger Games and Divergent. I thought that was way amazing. So I put that on there so that people could see it. But it started out, whoops, it started out just like that, get to know Aluria from Golden, just a little bit better. And then I told that she was taken in by her cousin Lowell when her aunt died. He and his right hand shadow trained her to destroy the bears. So my story is a Goldilocks retelling. So I kind of get into how dangerous she is, how she's trained, how she was sent on a mission to destroy the bears. And I swipe through and I could read more about her and get to know a little bit more about the story. So if we take a look here, this is my, my page there. And you can see right there, that it is just that first image. It does not show all nine of those images that I posted. I could have posted up to 10, but I only posted nine. And um, it, it only shows the first one. So they can choose to then go deeper and learn a little bit more about it, or they can choose not to. I love this because it has that first one there. It still shows my marketing, but it doesn't get in their face. It's not overly involved if they don't click on it. When they click on it, they then have the option to scroll through it, which you can't see very well. There we go. Or not. Ah, I can't do it backwards. There we go. So they can scroll through it and they can read it. And I connected it all. So if I actually put these together, all these images would be connected in this little timeline. You could go really creative with that, or you could just kind of leave it be and do separate pictures. I just thought it would be cool to kind of scroll through and have it like a little timeline. So I did that to introduce my characters, and that is the first tip I'm going to give you. Introduce your characters. If you have a new book or if you have a book that people already know and love and you want to introduce them to some more behind-the-scenes information about that character, this is a great way to do it. You get up to 10 slides, and you can talk about your character, how they interact with your story, how they're interacting with other people. You could give quotes from your characters. You could do all sorts of fun things to really introduce these characters to people. You can also include things like fan art. Now you saw with mine, I included my book cover. I do have some amazing fan art, but I did not use it in this particular one, but I do have every intention of using this fan art later on to kind of introduce more things about my characters to people. Now I could do it the way I did it, where I kind of gave little hints as to what that character's role is within the story. 
I could do it um, with behind the scenes back so I could talk about things I did not talk about in the book, like their hobbies, like their favorite sayings, like what they do on their time off, all sorts of things that I did not include in the book. I could then introduce through this album on my Instagram page, which I could also do within Instagram stories, which I love. So this is kind of like Instagram stories, but it is only 10 slides and it lasts forever. It stays on your page forever. It doesn't disappear after 24 hours like Instagram stories does. Now I love this because you can also do things with quotes from your book. So if you have favorite lines from your book, you can jump on and drop those different lines within those 10 slides in the album and you can go ahead and introduce people to those lines, get them really interested in your book and entice them to read it. You could set up challenges this way. So if you're doing a quote graphic challenge or if you're doing some kind of challenge where they have to go back in the book and look things up, you can absolutely put that within these albums and make them scroll through and give them hints where they can find it. And eventually they could win a prize or they could just have the victory of having found that particular line. I am a huge fan of doing actual quotes that are not from your book, but from people. So if you have really great author quotes or if you have fan quotes, this is a great way to kind of get those in there and remind people that they too can be going on and quoting things about your book. They can be saying things about what you're doing. They can be reviewing over on Amazon. So you want to make sure that that gets in there, but you don't want to be in their face about it. So if you have really great quotes, for example, I have some really great, great quotes from some author friends of mine and from some fans of mine, but I don't necessarily want to post them one after the other within my feed. That would just kind of overrun it and that would clog up people's newsfeed and they don't want to see that. They don't want to be bothered with that, but maybe I got a bunch of them on the same day and I really want to get them out there. So I make an album. I can have up to 10 of them and people can swipe through to read some really great quotes about what people have said about my book. Then later on, I can kind of sparse, uh, I can parse that out and give that out at different times so that it's not overwhelming the feed and I can give one quote at a time. Every few days I can put a new one out so that it looks nice within my feed. Let me actually show you, let me pull that up real quick because that's what I did within my own feed. If we look here while it slowly loads, because the internet's slow. Here, so here we go. Take a look. I've got my quote graphics, but I don't have them right next to each other because that would be kind of overwhelming if I had similar quotes all next to each other. Remember, with our Instagram feed, we want that to look like a magazine. We want it to look very refined and very curated. So we have to space things out as we're posting them so that it looks right and it gets people's attention. So I very clearly did not put all my quotes together, but maybe I want to create an album with 10 of my favorite quotes from people, and that would just sit right at the top, just like this one, with just that one quote. I could even put an intro graphic that says, these are some quotes from people about my book. This is what people have to say about my book. Swipe to read them. And then they could click on it and swipe to read through those quotes if they're more awesome than me and can actually swipe. There we go. So you could do quotes that way. If you have a sale coming up about your book, oh my goodness, let's talk about that. If you've got a 99 cent sale or if you've got some kind of really cool sale or if you are offering signed book plates to go with the book sale that you have if they're buying the physical copies, this is what you can do. Use those albums to promote this sale. You do not want a million graphics being posted throughout a day or two days all about your sale. That gets overwhelming. That sounds like a sales pitch and people don't like it when you are shoving things down their throat. So if you have something coming, make an album, tell them how to get it, tell them where to get it, tell them what they need to do, and then just have that little tutorial on how they need to handle it right in your Instagram stories. So for example, they had um, a sale recent, well not a sale, they had a book launch recently for an author's book, and if you purchase this book on pre-order, send in your receipt, you could then get an epilogue, a short little tiny epilogue to this person's previous series and you had to have that pre-order and you had to send it in. So instead of sending us to a page with a ton of information on what to do, they could have posted one picture saying, this is how you get this free epilogue. And then people just scroll through 10 screens saying, pre-order the book, take a screenshot of your receipt, email it to this address, and then we will send it to you after. It's a short, fun way of getting things done, getting that information out there. And then, of course, you can still send them to the real site with the full legal information that you have to send them to. But it's an easier way to communicate what you need to do. Forgive me, I'm losing my voice. 
So it's really, really great because you can promote your sales. If you have a group sale coming up, if you and a bunch of your friends are doing some kind of giveaway or an event, you can get in there and really make sure that you are talking about what you're doing and showing them on the slides instead of giving them all this information and doing some big, long Facebook post about it. For example, I am taking part in this really amazing debut author uh, giveaway called Serendipity, which is kind of like a tea party on a bunch of blogs for 17 of us debut 2017 authors. And when I'm done with this, I'm going to start making an album that we are all going to be able to share. It's going to have a an initial graphic that talks about what this giveaway is, what this event is, but then they can swipe through and get more information about it, where to find it, who's involved in it. We're going to talk about all the authors. We're going to talk about the books. And I have 10 slides to communicate this information. I can then take this information and jump into Instagram stories and get a little more detailed. I can get on camera and I can talk about it and I can really show off what we are doing. But these albums last longer than Instagram stories. So my, my uh, information to you, my suggestions to you is the word I was looking for, is to use this to introduce your characters. Use this to introduce your book. Use this to give out fan quotes or author quotes about your book. Tell them about contests you are running and events that you are going to be running in the future. Tell them about sales that you are going to be having. Tell them, you could, I mean, you could even go as far as to do your book reviews. So you as an author want to do book reviews for your friends. You can't do them on Amazon anymore. But I highly recommend you do things like creating booktube videos about it or doing live broadcasts on your author page about it. If you check out mine, I've already started doing live broadcast book reviews um, on my author page where I review other people's books live for my fans to see. You can do this within this Instagram albums and do 10 slides, put a bookstagram style photo of that book first and swipe to read my review, and then give 10 little highlight reels, or nine, I guess, after that point. Actually, I would even say eight. Say eight things about the book that you loved, and then the last screen could be more information about the book and where they can find it with that author's website or the publisher's website or an Amazon link or whatever you need to do to get that information out there and help your friend's books be sold. Um, but you can use that to communicate a lot of really great information. Now remember, pro tip here, do not get too wordy with this. If you have a ton of words, people are not going to read this. You need to keep this short and sweet. So if you looked at mine, I had maybe two or three sentences on each slide max. You gotta keep it very short and sweet and big words so that people can see it. Remember, Instagram is phone only. You can kind of view it on your computer, but people, for the most part, are gonna be using it on their phones. They don't wanna have to make things bigger. You wanna have it big and bold so that they can see it and just kind of scroll through it because we are in the time of life where people are going fast. If they can't get through it, they're not going to do it. They're not going to waste your time. So you want to get them to click on your album, scroll through your album, and actually get all the way through it. You do not want them to stop halfway because it's too much information. Now, one thing I did not tell you that I did actually want to say was I have one more suggestion, and that is if you are giving out samples of your book, if you're giving out an excerpt, if you're giving out that first chapter of your book, first couple of pages, you can hint at it through the albums here, which is an amazing way of doing it. So the first graphic would be, hey guys, I'm giving away the beginning part of my book. Click here to read more information, and you can actually click the first two or three pages, even four pages, four, five, six, seven pages of your book and just snap it. So hold your book down, take a picture of it and put those on there. They will have to actually read it and that will be wordy. And that is the only time you can give a ton of information within these albums is if they are actually reading the pages of your book. And make sure you have your publisher's permission before you do that if you are working with a traditional publisher because you don't want to get in trouble here. But it's a great way to entice them and then use your last slide to redirect them to where they can get the full excerpt, whether it's your newsletter or it's on Amazon or wherever it is. You want to redirect them where they can get the whole thing. But give them just that little taste of it so that they can kind of get a feel for it, decide if they want to get it. And then that will entice them to go over to wherever you're redirecting them. So Instagram albums is amazing. Highly recommend it. Totally love it. Make sure you're watching my page. So if you jump onto my author page, it's at KM Robinson Books. I will be doing this over the next couple of weeks in some really great ways to introduce my book, which comes out next month. And you can kind of see how I'm doing it and then use that within your own author marketing. I'm going to wrap this up because my voice is totally shot at this point. Ooh, that wasn't good. I was trying, guys. I was trying. Oh, hey, guys. Thanks so much for joining. I appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up. If you've totally loved this, you can jump on to www.readingtransforms.com. 
where you have access to our online courses, our online tutorials, our resources, the articles that we're working on, our communities, and the amazing things that we're working on over at Reading Transforms. You can also jump into community.readingtransforms.com, which is my closed Facebook group. I'm in there all the time teaching about how to beat these social media algorithms, how to work with these platform updates, how to market your book, and how to brand your author brand to engage your fans and equip them to market better for you. I hope you'll join us. It's an amazing group, a lot of great authors. Everybody's super supportive, and I would love to see you there. You guys have a fantastic day. Let me know if you've got questions about Instagram albums. I will be doing some more tutorials as soon as my voice comes back. I made a special exception for today because I can't actually function right now, but I really wanted to get this information out to you. So if you've got questions or if you have suggestions, if you've got ideas for how we as authors can be using this, let me know in the comments below, even if you're watching the rebroadcast over on our YouTube channel. Make sure that you let me know what you're thinking because I will have more tutorials for you. We'll be doing more live Q&A. We're going to be talking about how this is going to be so incredibly beneficial to you. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Cam Robinson of Reading Transforms and Cam Robinson Photography and author of the upcoming book, Golden. I will see you in the next video. You guys stay inspired.